Hey Tech here, today we are taking a look at technical analysis for Secret Network. Now this is an update video, so if you want to see the previous counts, um, please check out the previous video. But we'll go over those again today, just to see what kind of a price action we have currently going here. But before that, we're going to be looking at some support and resistance levels uh, with basic TA. So let's get going. So I have quite a few levels to look at. These are the basic ones that I've just labeled as support and resistance areas where we've had loads of price action, um, highs and lows, uh, giving us nice areas of support and resistance um, where the price has been acting. Now, currently we can see that we went through this previous area of support um, and kind of back tested the previous lows here of March 18th and then just been falling down from there. Um, the next area, just based on these support levels, is around $2.65, where we had these previous lows here, or previous highs, sorry. Uh, currently, we do have this somewhat of a support level, where we have had this week down here when we were climbing up on October 2021. But it, to me, it doesn't look too much of a support, um, sure we had some price action here so we could be actually at least stalling here for a bit again we are on a daily time frame so there could be definitely some some happenings going on um, a short time frame where, where we just don't see it on this time frame last video we established this um, basic trend trend line that really did not get respected too well here at least on daily so i'm just going to remove it i usually just don't even like the like the trend lines but without those uh, uh usually or instead of the basic trend lines i usually use are uh, just channels um, as they seem to be offering quite a bit better support and resistance levels um, this channel here is again uh, from the highs of April 2019 to the highs of February 2021 and the lows of March 11th of 2020. So we can see that 50, or the, basically the median line has been acting as support and resistance on both cases. Uh, we've had uh, quite a lot of action against it um, multiple times. Uh, we haven't back tested it at the moment, so I would be expecting that at some point. Uh, on higher time frame, uh, let's check out some some nice confluence areas. Um, again, this is basically the volume profile of the whole history of this uh, of secret. So we can see that ma majority of the price action has been happening here around the 60 cent to 22 cent area. Um, we can see the point of control here at a around 30 cent area with a monthly, with the golden pocket. This is going to be definitely a huge area of support if we are going to get here. Now this uh, Fibonacci retracement is from the all-time lows to the all-time highs. So yeah, the golden pocket fits this really well. Another area of interest to me would be around here. Um, our 38.2 retracement with the monthly here at $1.13. Um, well, there, there is also this range value area high that has been having nice confluence with these, uh, this resistance here and support and support. So definitely some kind of interested, interesting area as well. So let's mark it down. $1.40. On medium time frame is from the highs of uh, February 2021 onwards. Um, and this is what we can see. Also, if you wanted to retracement from the lows of July 2021 to the all-time highs, we can see this kind of stuff here. Currently, we are at the 0.5 fib. Uh, I wouldn't be expecting this to hold, although we have some kind of volume bump here, um, as we've had this price history here. Mm, so it, again, it could be establishing some kind of range, maybe. Um, other interesting level, levels um, 
we've had it had, had this uh, one third $1.13 um, again $1.06 around this area definitely interesting area monthly and point of control of this range here range value area low um, gets back to the same support support area not much else to go with that one uh, even lower time frame and these are going to be resistances ahead above, above us basically we have current point of control from the um, from the volume profile from the October 2021 to current prices we can see there's some kind of a nice areas of interest point of control 38.2 retracement with a daily around four dollars and sixty two cents point five Fibonacci retracement with a daily around five dollar fifty or five dollar forty cents and then this golden pocket with a weekly and currently we have the VWAP VWAP anchored VWAP from the all-time highs coming back here as well so these three levels are definitely going to be um, somewhat of a resistance areas now of course we got this uh, resistance above us this box basically um, with the range value area low um, so that is going to be definitely something to look out for but yeah those are basically the levels that I am looking for uh, currently and I've got quite a few alerts going on um, on myself so if you want to take a screenshot of those hopefully you can see those right now so let's get into Elliot Way stuff next so we had a couple of different possibilities I presented this um, this possibility where we had a diagonal into primary one here uh, and then now we would be correcting downwards quite a bit um, not much to say about this one um, also this possibility came up um, on the comments of YouTube video you know who you are who who said this um, I think you mentioned that this could be one two one two with the highest all-time high would be the one two of, of a lower degree but I just can't get a nice five-way structure into here um, why well let's close these guys down um, is because I could get five words into this one easy five words here easy five words here but again this area is overlapping with this one so wave four would be overlapping with wave one um, and that would mean that we would need some kind of diagonal here however wave three is larger than wave five and wave three again would be larger than larger than this one here uh, let me see so one to one wave three is larger and the wave wave three is larger so it can't be a diagonal so instead of the one two being at the one all-time high we could have something something like this here um one two in the highs of february 2021 um and this is not looking half bad I guess it could be possible I still prefer the way one being here but again uh, this could be definitely an alternate case um, at which point would we think this is more likely um, hmm, that is an interesting uh, question to me uh, currently we have already established the possibility of this being the same structure here A, B and C um, and this is again the same structure that we are expecting basically at least for the C wave part on on the other uh, case where we had the one here so we would be looking for five ways at the start now let's take some targets for the wave C after it gets down here around 77 cents we can basically say that is an expanded flat there's nothing wrong with it yet but I think it still remains as an alternative for me um, unless we can see some um, 
I guess we need to look at whenever this wave structure ends. Only then we can figure out if this is a C wave of this ABC structure or whether it is just a start of something um, more bearish, um, saying again with this guy um, being either the A, B and C then. At this case we would be expecting lower targets but again we just don't know how much this is going to be re retracing of the first move. So we will see, we'll see. Uh, let's put this here as well and this one here. Now we also presented this bear option here where we had W, X, Y. We could place the same structure here with just ABCs. Um, so again, pretty much same structure here. We, w we are looking for five ways here. Um, nothing more. Uh, let's put this one, not that one. Let's see, there we go. Uh, so let's have a look at what we can find here. Now I've placed or made this claim as a ABC for now. Um, as this first leg here is really difficult to say that it is a five-way structure. Let's get into it so we can see better. So trying to look for five-way structures here is kind of difficult to me. Um, this there's like even just the star here um, looks very three-wave-ish um, unless this is some kind of diagonal um, that I just didn't see. Maybe it is, let's see, let's measure it out so we don't need to, need to be guessing, guessing here. So again, third, possibly third, would be larger. So which means that wave four would be need, would need to be larger as well. And it is, whether it ends here or here. Now at this point we would be looking at something uh, something like this, which definitely does not look good. Um, <laughs> even we can see that the expanding diagonal uh, trend line that is definitely not usual for it to get broken and established such a long ways down here. Um, it is not looking too good, but maybe there is some kind of case for it. But for now, I'm still looking for this as an ABC downwards instead of the other, other structures. This current structure here definitely looks like more impulsive waves, uh, way easier to count than, the, than this mess here. Uh, therefore, I can easily place it 1, 2, 1, 2. And currently, we are almost getting to 1.618 of this 1, 2 here, this uh, light blue uh, minuet count. Uh, we would be expecting this to go at least to around $1.61 for as a whole uh, for this ABC correction uh, when this ends. Um, again, this is without any extension, so I would be, or we could be expecting some kind of extension at one point. So lower targets are definitely uh, possible. I think that's all the all I wanted to share on secret today though. Uh, let me know if you have an, another coin or another account you would like to share. Um, hopefully you, I'll see you back on the channel as well soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.